the the biggest part that I'm nervous about about this whole um, announcement is the fact that we might have to wait until February to get a fucking Kendrick album. That's that's what's pissing me off now. I was, Imagine if he just drops it in October and now we have our new hit that's going to be performed. That's what at I hope he does that. That's a ballsy and bold for him to do that. That would be great. But he might just ride this motherfucker into Super Bowl because a lot of artists do that. They'll they'll release a new project close to Super Bowl time while you have the most eyes and ears. Like the Super Bowl is American Super Bowl is the number one watched thing in America like every year. So like to have that many eyes, it, it makes sense for you to sell something right there because they don't get paid to perform at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. They get everything that comes after it. Just like having a Grammy is yeah. just another Paid check. And clout. Exactly. Another check, another outlet. Like Kendrick after 2025 is out of here. Gone. Like the weekend. You'll be in Sao Paulo. Sao um, Paulo. <laughs> that shit was fire too. I watched that. Um, all right. All right, guys. We're going to get into tonight's show. Um, <laughs> Because I need to know what's going on out here. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, man. Don't mess with the fucking boogeyman, man. That's all I'm going to fucking say, man. Y'all, this, this man is a psychopath. Kendrick Lamar is a freaking psychopath. <laughs> Do leave this man alone. He has been warning people. This is one dog that bark also bites. Okay. I don't I don't even think I don't even think nobody bothered him. (laughs) I don't think he was done. Oh my god. I I, I called it. I knew that as soon as Drake start just like, you know, just kinda all right, it's, it's, coast is clear. Can just boom, like Bo- <laughs> no, like I, yeah. I, I feel like I seen it. I, yeah, I knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Yeah, uh, guys, yeah, we don't I ain't finished yet. No, at all. And if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Kendrick Lamar was just announced as the Super Bowl Fifty Nine headliner um, in New Orleans, Louisiana. It is so deep. This is so deep. This is so layered. This announcement is crazy um, for for multiple reasons. Um, you know, coming off of this rap beef, not like us, um, and then Drake throwing out the hundred gigs. He's been throwing out fillers. Yeah, you know what I mean. Fillers. That's exactly what it was. He's throwing out fillers. He's throwing out different records on his website. His label's like, like ah, 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 no free music. Put get, put on DSP. But he's putting the music. On DSPs, then taking it down. Like some of the songs, like um, I think Blue, Green, Red, he took that off. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, okay, this is really odd, but it's almost like he's trying to see what are people saying about him, um, what songs are working, what songs are not, um, who's still on his side, who is not. Um, it's it's a very very interesting time. This I've never. This is this is going down in hip hop music history to me as the greatest rap beef of all time. Like I, I this this there's nothing like this. It's, a ten year build up to have this kind of climax, and then even the ripple effects. Um, I was listening to um, a pod earlier, and they made a really good point. A lot of the music industry people are saying. This was a blessing and a curse for for hip hop because during the time of the battle, like it was great for hip hop. Everybody was tuning in. The genre has never been this strong in in a long time, right? Ouch! But <laughs> <you're okay>. <laughs> 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 um, but after that, the ripple effects of it is kind of hurt hip hop because I mean hip hop has already been kind of on a decline, but. So- the music, like if you think about people, Big Sean dropped. He only did twenty eight thousand first week. DJ Mustard dropped. I don't never wake up. I've never like for the last ten years of my life ever like like yeah. I can't wait till that Big Sean drop. Like he was right. never he was never that guy for me. Right, but he he was he was that guy for a lot of people though. Like he was at least a a hundred to two hundred thousand art like sell um first week artist he was he was he was he was at least because okay we know the big three is kendrick drake and cole but the people who are following right after that is a big sean is a wale 
You know what I mean? So like even those artists they don't benefit from the aftermath of this. You know what I mean? I think he changed his release date. He well, he changed his release date. He was going he was, he, I don't, Big Sean's PR team did not I don't know what was going on with that. That that was that was a failure. Like all the interviews that he did, all the like the the stuff that he did to market this album and stuff like that and the biggest takeaway was why didn't you uh, propose to Janae Aiko? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like what the biggest takeaway was. That is horrible. You did a you did a bad job <laughs> of trying to market your album and stuff like that and it just it didn't look right. So but that's not even my, my main point. But you, like I said, you have people, uh, artists like Big Sean doing 28 first week is crazy. Then you have DJ Mustard, who just produced the biggest song of the year with Not Like Us, only doing 18,000. Mm. You have YG only doing 8,000. You had uh, City Girls doing 16,000. Um, Meg didn't sell much either. It's just like uh, like everybody is kind of like. But I, so I think it's not even just the proof. It's the pudding. Like the mm-hmm. pudding itself mm-hmm. isn't that good. Yeah, it's like Ice Spice was trash too. Like that's the thing. That, like, that's not surprising. But, like, but she's such a she, like. This is the thing. Like, even though I don't listen to her music like that, I can no. say that she has a huge fan base. She has a of huge children. <sighs> like, there's nothing. There no mm-hmm. no like I would never like even include her in a real conversation about music. Right, it's a popularity contest at that point. Right, yeah, I think just people just don't listen to albums anymore. No, people aren't putting out that good music. Right, like don't get me wrong, there are like a couple diamonds in the rough, but they don't shout get the right. Dochi. That, shout out to Dochi. Dochi, that and then that's fire. another thing. Like I've seen a lot of artists they they either. I'm not going to say their albums flop, but it's like, for some reason, there's more deep cuts versus mm-hmm. like, you know, anthem or like yeah. hits. It's like more people getting personable and like dropping that type of music. Like, uh-huh. okay, let me like either spit out a bunch of nonsense or like somewhere in between where it's just like very deep cuts. Yeah. Like, I love Doji's album. I mm-hmm. love it, loved it, loved it. Mm-hmm. But there's only maybe a couple of songs that I will put on like my everyday, mm-hmm. like Playlist, I can listen right. to multiple right. times. Like, it was a very nice piece of art and a nice piece of work. And it was very personal. I really right. loved how personal she got and like vulnerable she was in the album. And I can appreciate that. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know. Music just isn't fun anymore. It's not, it's like, not don't get same. me wrong. Sexy Red is pretty fun, but mm-hmm. it's like even that kind of had it like so, played like, what out. Extent? Like yeah. how how like how much do we want to give up? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So like, and that's like to me with the hip hop scene. But then when you look at other genres, I think this is why uh, uh, genres like Afro B, Afro Fusion, stuff like that has kind of like been turning up, and even mm-hmm. having like some of our artists come over to that lane because to me Af- africa is making like life music like if you go yeah. if you go it's there it's such a or big see difference it, too. yeah like it's the energy it's like, the okay. energy is uplifting people are dancing they're having a good time they're going out like i seen the video of day of december last year <laughs> in ghana they were partying it was 9 a.m in the morning the party started the <laughs> last night <laughs> They they literally party all night long. What are they doing? They <laughs> they, uh, they party. They have a good time. You know what I mean? I don't think <laughs> they, <laughs> y'all don't have to have a good time, and it translates into the music. It translates into the culture, and then I just think that we just had such a low frequency, low vibration style of music for you know a couple of years now. To hear something like a Burner Boy or a Thames or you know, Fireboy, DML, whatever, the, whatever the case is. Uh, not just talk about just Nigerian artists too. Nigerian is killing it. Ghana's killing it as well too. You got Saudi Soul in Kenya. You got South African artists as well too. Like just all of y'all's, you know, music together. To me, that healing record that we listen to, that's a South African house record. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I love, love that record. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, <sighs> main event time, guys. Main event time. Time to get into this. Um, we're talking about the Super Bowl real quick. I said 15 minutes. Uh, we already like 15 minutes and I think. All right. <laughs> be quick. Okay. Um, well, to be fair, we just started talking about this topic. Yeah. Yeah. We've been, we've been doing all right. Um, so 
Is that me? Hmm? I, I, it might have been <laughs> oh, me. I don't okay. know. I was like, I don't, my body's doing all kind of crazy shit right now. I've been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the punk pumpkin. I'm drinking pumpkin all uh, all fall. Oh, but, for sure. Um. All right, guys. Kendrick Lamar, headliner, Super Bowl. We're gonna start off with the commercial that he released um, through PG Lang, and man, his team is just different. Man, Kendrick's team is just—they be working, working. But he ain't no rookie at all, at all. They know exactly what they're doing. They are very, very strategic. Um, all right, let's get to it. This is Kendrick Lamar's uh, commercial for uh, announcing he will be headlining the Super Bowl. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Come on. Two more. Just like that. You ready? That's how the kids are going to be spitting them. Exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? I'm named Kendrick Lamar. And I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win the championship. No round twos. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I won't want you to miss it. Meet me in New Orleans. February 9th, 2025. Wear your best dress too. Even if you're watching from home. Let's go. So I'm talking about man. Now we can get to it for real. Come on, you gotta, you gotta make sure you catch it with the hands open like that. We running real routes. You gonna be messing up. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Kendrick is different. He's a psycho. He's just a psychopath. I love me an evil genius. God, only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Um, and if you guys want to know, like, why this particular line stood out to so many people. Actually, let me see if I can pull this up. Um, oh, yeah. What Drake said? He posted that. Uh... Ben Wallace. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see if I can find the story. Um... I need to go back on Twitter. Oh my god, that was so rich. Oh, jeez, it's so layered too. I'm gonna see if I can find all the. I should have saved all the stuff that I um <laughs> that I found about this thing, but um, his inspiration behind. It, oh yeah, here it is. this is the inspiration that he had behind. Man, all this stuff you heard about America not wanting to fight, wanting to stay out of the war, is a lot of horse dung. <laughs> Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love the sting of battle. When you were kids, you all admired the champion marble shooter, the fastest runner, big league ball players, the toughest boxers. Americans love a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win all the time. I wouldn't get a hoot in hell for a man who lost and laughed. That's why Americans have never lost and will never lose a war. Because the very thought of losing is hateful to America. Mm. You'll never be number one, but you can always be next. Bro. <laughs> Oh my God! And for just anybody who, like, how is Kendrick performing at the Super Bowl? I don't know if he's a big enough artist. Um, he's the very first rapper to solo headline a Super Bowl. Never been done before. Um, he won a poster um, prize. The only rapper to do that. Um, he also has not one but two of the highest grossing tours of all time. And I thought Travis Scott did. Mm-mm. Okay. First rapper to receive the most Grammy nominations in one night. That's actually incorrect. He was tied with Michael Jackson with eleven for "To Pimp a Butterfly." Hmm. Um. I better stop playing with that man. Yeah. This. This. This is a 
living, breathing goat. <laughs> In case anybody was confused, um, don't play with this man. All right. Um, you guys might have seen already. Let me see if I can find a, a man. Um, Drake posting Ben Wallace. Round two. Wait, what was that? Oh, was that recent? Oh no, that was August one. Oh, this is it. This is it. All right. So this this is what Drake posted. Um two. This was back in August twenty sixth. So this is before. I'll put it in the front page, back page. Hold up. Hold up. So this was on the story. He says two. I put it in the front page, back page, middle page, wherever headliners. Column one or two, we will win game two. We will win game two. <laughs> Sir, <clears throat> no, you won't. This is getting messy. <laughs> Ooh, oh my God! A double, a double, a double, a d double or nothing? I don't. He's not doing it. Because he's saying right here, he's like, you only get one um, opportunity to win a championship. There is no round twos. And even before this, Drake kind of caught the plea like, he's not really, that's not what he meant. He's like kind of backpedaling. And then you had DJ Academics come out here when he first posted it, hyping up a game two, a round two, and then just did a stream yesterday saying that's Somebody not what he meant. Somebody pulled Drake to the side and was like, listen, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, listen, nah, brother. Nah, nah, nah. I don't think. You don't, you don't want to do this. I don't think this yeah, is a wise decision. Yeah. I think you should. Redact your statement, right? But the thing is now, like, what's going to happen? Drake is still going to be Drake, but I don't know if Drake is going to reach that pinnacle of what he once was. I this. won't even say all that because mm -hmm. Drake is still Drake. It's just mm -hmm. when it comes down to like the battle of duels, Kendrick is going to win. Like yeah. that's just kind of what it is. And people like it's okay. You mm -hmm. can't be number one, but you can always be next. Yeah, but I think. Because hip hop is such a competitive sport, and it has there's so many people that can't even fuck with Drake. So like, sure, it's it's not even it's not it's just he's a goat. Like, two goats can coexist, but only one can sit on the top of the mountain. Right. And mm -hmm. I think that's that's kind of where it is. Like now, yeah. Like, and that is okay. That doesn't make you any less than a goat. You're just not right. the number one goat. Yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of like you know, kind of like Jay Z and Nas, right? Like they were both. You know, at the time, considered like, you know, heavy, heavy hitters and stuff like that. Jay Z eventually got his lick back, but yeah, it's just, it's just, this is a little bit of a different thing. Cause I, I even hear some of Drake's songs and even other people say, like, some of the lyrics do hit different. Like, first person shooter does not sound the same anymore, especially now. When you talk about this whole, it's almost like Drake was campaigning to do the Super Bowl. Big as the Super Bowl. Like, and now your arch nemesis is before, like everywhere you turn. This is a psychomaniac. He is like, what? What else did you say? Stop. <laughs> what else did you stop? <laughs> I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. How am I holding a grudge? Man, this is a petty you, Gemini. <laughs> what did you do to make them niggas that mad? <laughs> this is a petty, petty Gemini, man. Um. I mean, Drake went on a 10 year run of. Oh, wow. What was that? This this was the first person shooter. They had really big plans. And Jay Z said, Let me hold your hand when I tell you this. Yeah, because. It, it ain't you. Because even Drake, Drake is very calculated as well, too. I don't want to make it just seem like Drake is just a chump. He's not. Drake is very calculated as well, too. I think Drake knew that Super Bowl is going to be in New Orleans. Little Wayne is a very obvious choice to be the headliner um, for this next Super Bowl. Little Wayne, arguably one of the gre greatest rappers to ever live. Amazing discography. Um, definitely hometown hero for New Orleans and the South in general. Huge football fan. Um, has been on first take in ESPN multiple times. You know, and 
if Little Wayne was the headline, it would make sense for Drake to to be a guest or maybe even co-headline. You know what I mean? Because they've done tour together. You know, they've done the Drake versus Little Wayne tour. They, they could have brought this back. They could have brought, <laughs> you know what I mean? They could have brought the uh, the whole Young Money out. Little Wayne brings out Drake and Nicki. The or, way Young Money's been crashing out this year. Yeah, no, nah, it's kind of crazy. They wasn't. They wasn't gonna get their comeback. <sighs> but hey, shout out Gag City DC tonight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to Nikki. Um, so Joe Budden's petty. Um, I cannot wait for the next episode of Joe Budden podcast. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yo, Joe needs to drop an emergency episode like yesterday. But um, Chubbs, which is Drake's right hand man, responded with tell that little boy to drop but he won't he know better hmm. <sighs> hmm. he dropped something all right yeah he dropped he, uh, man all right um let's look at some of these reactions um we just talk about little wayne so little wayne's manager responded to this said that he's confused he's disappointed he's angry but most of all inspired We'll never again be in a position or have the GOAT in a position where we are at the mercy of someone else's decision. We will make the decisions. Um, mm. <laughs> it's a, what a way to take accountability. You know what I mean? Because I do believe there was nobody fucking with this young money cash money run, right? They had the opportunity to really, you know, take over the industry. You know, they, they ran they it for they a long did. time. I don't say they did. But to not hold that position of power to be able to make moves like this. I mean, it's because of the, 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 the sloppy chess moves they made this year. Yeah. I, I think that's I, how I'm like, even I told you Meg popped it off. Like everything was so calculated, mm -hmm. even down to her doing her endorsement deals with yeah. Amazon and the, but that the all Super comes from the relationship of Beyonce, Brew, Rock Nation. Like, as well too. Is off? Rock Nation. What you do? What you do to make them niggas that mad? Rock Nation is nothing to fuck with, man. And Jay Z is petty, and he remembers shit. Um, you know, Jay Z and Lil Wayne had their had their little issue. Jay Z and Drake had their issue oh. at one point as well too. So I think this is like kind of like a a way to shit on them on a different level. Jay Z's like, I'm not rapping no more. I'm doing big boss, big money moves type shit, like. Uh, for people who don't know, Jay Z Rock Nation is the head of the NFL Entertainment Department. So Jay Z and Rock Nation decides who performs at the Super Bowl um, since uh, 2021. So I thought that Jay was going to make bygones be bygones. You know, they even had records together um, to, let, to let Lil Wayne perform here. I would have loved to see Lil Wayne perform. And see a young money set, and see a, you know, maybe a hot boy set, or you know, just bring that whole that whole era up. It just wasn't but, their year. Yeah, but it's like, and then this one hurts too because it's New Orleans. It's New Orleans. Like, if any, if there's any time to do this, this is a perfect time to do this. Then, then Wayne might have should have showed out during that white earth beef. Yeah, he, but if yeah, you wanted, if you wanted that spot, you should have took it. Fair point. Absolutely fair point. Because Drake, Drake is smart too. He's like, well, there is no, there is no NFL team in Canada. There's not a Toronto team. You know what I mean? Oh, he just NBA. got his, uh, he, uh, Houston. Oh, Houston, yeah, Houston uh, residency. He got his little ID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, man, Super Bowl in Houston will be, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't, <laughs> where would y'all even host that? There would be so many damn people there. Oh, my Good God. Good Lord. I can just imagine. That city can't handle it. That can, it, Houston oh, will that, be. That, that'll bring so much money yeah well um but new orleans this is I'd also be making my way over there i'll be over there too i ain't gonna lie i love me some houston um all right more people responded of course birdman shaking my fucking head mm. Nicki minaj um has something to say try to tell y'all about y'all wanted brunch i'm a, I'm a hmm? She got hat. What happened? DTLR. She was at DTLR. Huh. 
The nine young black man, what he rightfully put into the game, it's no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nicky got you punishing Lil Wayne, the GOAT, Nola, what's good, Eminem stood firm. When having 50 Cent come out, a white man, shit sad, how, mm, but it's good for them, no loyalty, well, then, hmm. Nicky is upset. Um, let me see, did, did her account get hacked, or is this really her? Yeah, it's her. Did Nikki be wilding out like this? Yeah. Did, oh, you, man. did you miss man. the whole? I don't be watching none of that. I have Listen, no idea. She had a meltdown when really? her and Meg was into it. You bu- bullet fragment, bitch. Oh, you, oh I seen the big the, foot jump on the little foot. That no, all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> um, she might have took it. But I, I don't know. I haven't seen her like spiral like she did this year, like before. I don't think yeah. anyone has. All right. On the internet, at least. Hmm. Uh, Hmm. Damn, she tweets a lot. Oh, she posted Wayne too. All right. Clearly, um, everybody associated with Wayne is upset. Um, uh, but yeah. All right. Look, man. It could have been you, Drake. It could have been you. You fucked up the money, and now it's this. Look, man. <laughs> All right. Um, Master P, somebody from New Orleans, congratulates uh, Kendrick Lamar. Um, he also says that Little Wayne should still be a part of it. I'm going to give you all a hot take. I, I, w- I want to get some of y'all's predictions. Who do y'all think Kendrick will bring out? If, what, what, what special appearance? Do you think that Kendrick will bring to the Young football? boy, I can't let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> young boy. NBA young boy? He's from New Orleans. Oh shit, he is, ain't he? That would make uh we're gonna be mad at that. He might give he might give the young niggas young niggas a shot. Got, yeah, who I, else I, who else you got in your pocket? Who else you think he might bring out? Maybe not. He a little thrown off. But um <laughs> he's, he's still, what, a stone mountain or something. Imagine like that? <laughs> in a in a world a thing of things mm-hmm. that Wayne did come out. Carmen. Imagine that. I believe that world. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Kendrick will bring out Little Wayne. I think it just boils down to Wayne's loyalty. And, and it has been shaky. Okay. Yo, we hear a Mona Lisa come out when they start. He's, Drake and Kendrick got records. They got a record together. They got Mona Lisa. <gasps> oh my God, they do. Um, Drake and Little Wayne allegedly don't have the best relationship. Even, even with Drake giving so much kudos and bigs up, big ups to his mentor, Little Wayne is on record and saying he doesn't listen to nobody's music. He doesn't like Drake was like th- three months behind on the Kendrick and Drake beef. In the first place, he didn't really know what was going on. He he's he really be out of it. Oh, mm-hmm. playing. Yeah, yeah. Like he doesn't listen to other people's music. He only listens to his own music, mm-hmm. and he watches sports. Other than that, he's like in his own fucking world. Mm-hmm. Skateboarding, football, and his music. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that's li- that's literally it. So J- J- Little Wayne might get up there, none the wiser, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and get up and do something. I mean, and. The way how Kendrick is playing ball, man. Like, I mean, he mentioned he mentioned Wayne in the song. Fuck the Wayne girl while he was in jail. That's conniving. You know what I mean? Like, they think of me through him, through him a little rope. Yeah, you can come up if you want. Right. Um. Another another person I'm thinking about too. I'm throwing out I'm throwing out all the crazy theories first. Now I'm gonna get out to like a little bit more realistic. My next crazy theory, Jermaine Cole. I can see Jermaine Cole, a.k.a. J. Cole, coming out to this halftime performance. Just that chess move of you know what? making you apologize. You did the song, Big as a Super Bowl. Come perform that with me. You know what? But let's take it back a bit. Yeah. Outside of just TDE, Callie mm-hmm. and all the people who showed up to the Not Like Us uh, 
experience. Like the video has so many heavy hitters. He could have just bring any of the homies. Cause let's not forget Schoolboy's mm-hmm. uh, show was canceled in Canada. Right. Like some <clears> people have. What? Like I, I wouldn't be surprised. He bring out Tyler. Uh, maybe. Uh, what's his name? Uh, YG. Uh, Mustard, uh, um, maybe not Stacey. YG, but Mustard. I mean, nobody listening Steve to Lacey. YG, but Steve Lacey, yeah. Um, um, Frank Ocean, SZA, SZA. Oh, we need all the stars. Dochi, all the yeah, to- Dochi. We need all the stars in real life. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. that's we, what we I'm saying. That. Like, let's not act like he already don't got some heavy hitters on his side. Like, we don't <laughs> even gotta think too far out the. But like, we as much as this we're fantasizing, and I feel like they're playing on people's fantasies. Like, oh, we they. Uh, uh, yeah. I think Jermaine wants nothing to do with nothing anymore. <laughs> I think I think Jermaine I think he does because there's also okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say why, and I also don't believe that any of the people that we've seen from the pop out, maybe excluding Black Hippie, will be um, out there performing with him mm-hmm. because you already did the thing with Dre because. Dre did perform. Dre headlined the Super Bowl and brought Kendrick out for him. Kendrick did the pop out. Had Dre come out for that. I feel like it'll be way too played out if we see mm-hmm. another Dr. Dre. You know what I mean? Snoop said he's not in it. Um, Imagine him and uh, Megan come out with a song they plotted on both Nicki and Dre going. It was like a new disc that just was like, oh, oh, what? The, the biggest part that I'm nervous about about this whole um, announcement is the fact that we might have to wait until February to get a fucking Kendrick album. That's that's what's pissing me off now. I was, Imagine if he just drops it in October and now we have our new hit that's going to be performed. Be performed. I hope he does that. That's a ballsy and bold for him to do that. That would be great. But he might just ride this motherfucker into Super Bowl because a lot of artists do that. They'll they'll release a new project close to Super Bowl time while you have the most eyes and ears. Like the Super Bowl is American Super Bowl is the number one watched thing in America, like every year. So like to have that many eyes, and ears, it makes sense for you to sell something right there because they don't get paid to perform at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. They get everything that comes after it. Just like having a Grammy is yeah. just another Paid check. Clout. Exactly. Another check, another outlet. Like Kendrick after twenty twenty five is out of here. Gone. Like the weekend. You'll be in Sao Paulo. Sao um, Paulo. <laughs> that shit was fire too. I watched that. Um I don't think we're gonna get any of the LA people there, maybe with the exception of Black Hippie, because he's gonna put his people on. Maybe that. Outside of Black Hippie, I can see Jermaine Cole coming because J. Cole for him to hop on that future album right after that. <gasps> what if he brings future? That was my last one. But also with J. Cole, J. Cole just dropped the record with Vase at Rocky. Um uh, not not needed. No. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was kinda hard. That shit was kinda hard. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was kinda hard. J. Cole was fed on there. I ain't gonna lie. But for him, you jumped on a you jumped on Future Project, you jumped on ASAP Rocky Project. It oh, makes sense for you to go back to Kendrick. It makes it seem like, hey guys, I made a mistake. I'm paying my dues back, and this will be the ultimate disrespect <laughs> to, to to what happened with him and Drake. Um, also proves my point why J Cole did that apology to Kendrick at the Dreamville Festival and didn't perform his number one record, First Person Shooter, as well too. I think it just heightens that that even more. All right. So we said Wayne, we said J. Cole. I can see more realistic. You mentioned this already. Tyler? Future. Oh, yeah, Future. Mm-hmm. I think it's about time that we can hear like that performed live. With and the both Future of them. said he's about to drop another mixtape or album. Mm-hmm. I'm like, another one? Another <gasps> one. Yeah. Ooh, don't he, need to get me excited. I- yeah. He's feeding the streets, man. Future's feeding the streets. That, that, that's the only thing we surviving off of at this yeah, point. Yeah. Not that many left. Um, did Travis come out? Travis um came out as a guest, I think, with Maroon Five or somebody like that for the Super Bowl. Um, Kendrick has a relationship with Travis. Um, that could be possible. I don't know. Um, Rihanna, he might bring Rihanna back out. We don't need that. Yeah, well, maybe I think she her might performing re- days are over. She might want to redeem herself. I don't oh. think so. Oh yeah, you're right. She she got a bill because I don't show. even think back before <laughs> even like before Mother Rihanna like. 
she was yeah. much of a performer anyway. Right. Right. Another one, The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. They got records together. Um, the week has been itching too to get back. <laughs> the weekend was at the pop out show, like enjoying it. You can see Kendrick in the weekend. I would like to see Kendrick in uh in SZA again. I think that would make sense. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, man, I, uh, all the stars. Yeah, that we need that. We, we that that is a that is a record to perform at the Super Bowl. That that is that mm-hmm. is a good one. So yeah, um, that's my predictions. I'm probably missing somebody, but those are the. The ones I could think of right now. Let me know what you guys think. Um, okay. <sighs> One hour in. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes. You know, we good. Um, crazy. The, the last thing I'm going to say about this is then we're going to definitely move on. Um, Toronto has actually been um, chosen to host the World Cup in 2026. <laughs> and you see, you won't give me my American? I'll, I'll give you something else. <laughs> now, <laughs> this, this, I'm letting you guys know early. I think that Drake is going to definitely do something for the World Cup in 2026. He might say, you know, you know what? Fuck America. And I'm going to focus on the world stage. You know, Drake has been getting criticized in America for him appropriating different styles of music and stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you, non traveling motherfuckers. When you leave this country, you're going to hear, honestly, never mind. You're going to hear all of those, all of Drake's Applebeat records, his fucking Spanish records, his fucking house records. That shit gets played around the world. You know what I mean? So he might just go to that bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He mentioned here the World Cup gets 5 billion views across the globe. Compared to the Super Bowl averaging about 100 million views. It's a different level, man. When you're looking at, like, soccer or a.k.a. football, uh, that's a different level. I remember, like, the last World Cup, I was at the car wash. These niggas was not washing my car. And it was all on their phones. Like, it is a different level of fandom when it comes to, you know, football, a.k.a. Uh, soccer in America. So, yeah. All right. Hey guys, we got our shit off. Uh, <laughs> uh, any any uh, last words on 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 these on this matter, Carmen? Do you think? Of? Man, I'm ready for February. Man, me too. Me too. We gotta get through the holidays. Hope right. hope everybody guns ain't a blazing. Right. Because don't forget, Drake said he's dropping that album with Party this year. Right. Yeah. We still don't know when Kendrick dropping. Right. Yeah. Where's that Drake and Party album? That's a I thought it was supposed to drop already, or it's supposed I to drop soon. I think it's October. It's October. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Drake, uh, Drake might have to go back to the drawing board a little bit. And then there's another thing too. Kendrick might do. Kendrick might be selfish and just perform by himself. I hope he doesn't do that. Uh, the weekend did that for his Super Bowl performance. I didn't really like that. I wish he would have brought more people out. I think it's fun when you have collaborations and you know you don't know what's gonna come. I think Dick, Usher. Dick. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go, 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 ahead. go ahead. I think Usher did a really great job of performing and having it not just be about him but having atlanta you know Mm -hmm. come and represent and then he also had alicia keys as well too but he just did a great job little john um just uh, i think yeah well i am there too um yeah so like just just bringing out uh, more people i think it makes it fun i think also the the la one with uh dr dre snoop uh 50 cent eminem and kendrick that was a big one too. It's just like it's good to just see more than just that one artist. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We'll see what Kendrick does, man. February, February 9th. Shout out to my brother, man. That's his birthday. So maybe, maybe another thing is like maybe mm-hmm. they couldn't let Wayne do it because you know Wayne was gonna bring Drake and Nikki, and Drake was gonna be like, "Y'all gotta bring sexy," and Jay Z was like, "No, right, no." Or they might have just been worried about yo, little Wayne may not show up on time, or at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're like ah, liability. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hmm. Jay-Z did speak on this. Oh. I will be remiss not to mention this. Um, And then I'm I'm definitely moving on, y'all. What All if right. he brings out Kanye? Oh, don't do that. They said they said Kanye being in front of 100 million people uh, is a national threat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest, two Super Bowls that we're robbed of that we're probably never going to see is Kanye West and Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. I think those are two artists that 
You don't yeah. think we'll ever get a Chris Brown? They hate Chris Brown. The industry absolutely hates Chris Brown. Um, and it's crazy because he's kind of doing everything independent on his own. Yeah. He owns still... his own masters. Mm. So, like, Chris Brown's literally not liked by the industry. I was about to say, he, that, that hell ain't going out without a fight. Yeah. Because I remember, like, he had an issue. That's pure talent, though. You can't deny it. You really can't deny it. But they, they, he had an issue with him um, performing at the NBA, uh, like basketball game there. Like they invited him, didn't say that we don't want you no more because of controversy. He's just like, yo, I can. He could not get away from that incident. Like it's just like they just keep pulling him back to that's who you are and that's that. So um, I think that's another reason why Chris Brown does a lot of music in Africa. He does. He had a lot of record with um, Devito and. Um, and other African um, artists as well too, because he's like, I'm gonna go where I'm wanted, and he makes great music with them out there too. And him, him touring on his own, people are gonna still want to come out and see him because, like you said, he's just he's just pure talent. So, um, all right, I cannot end this without mentioning exactly what Jay Z said on why he chose Kendrick Lamar. So, I'm actually, I hate articles on here. I'm going to go back to Twitter. Easy. All right, so Jay-Z has said Kendrick is truly a once-in-a-generation artist and performer. He has an unparalleled ability to define and influence culture globally. His works transcends music, and his impact will be felt for years to come. Mm -hmm. So that is his um, reason why he decided on Kendrick Lamar, a.k.a. level of advice for you guys. It's not what you know. It's who you know. Once again, round of applause for Kendrick Lamar. February, we are going to be in the building. And regardless, this is the win for the culture as well, too, because, yo, black artists at the black artists at the black artists at the black artists. Like, we, we, yeah, shout out to them. Okay. Top, hill, top, hill, top.